if you ever had this requirement to create a pdf file or read a pdf file or even modify the contents of a pdf file then i think this video is going to help you if we look at the history of a pdf uh, which is uh, known as portable document format something as a proprietary that adobe created a long time back so pdf was never never supposed to be consumed by machines right it was more for the consumption of human beings and uh, here in this website if i look at the project goal it says that goal was to enable anyone to capture documents from any application send electronic versions of these documents anywhere and view and print them on any machine now when they say anyone that primarily is pointing to human folks and not machines because for machine readable uh, formats are json xml text etc etc so reading pdf is always a little bit tricky but there are plenty of awesome libraries available online which we can utilize in terms of creating scripts or automation utilities i think python is pretty much the go to language and there are nice pdf libraries for python so the most popular one i think is pypdf and there would be various mention of other versions of pypdf like pypdf2 or pypdf4 but thing is these projects are not going to be maintained right so everything that you have uh, a need for is there in pypdf so you can just ignore this ones right so say for example pypdf4 it isn't maintained for a very long time so this is kind of deprecated then pypdf2 recently they have mentioned in their project page that pypdf2 is going back to its roots so basically pypdf2 is no longer maintained again so everything that you need is here under pypdf and they have a very thorough and extensive documentation in case if you have to refer so we are just going to look at one of the major use cases today which is um, reading pdf contents and i believe pypdf probably does have certain support for creation of pdf contents but uh, we'll look at that in another video sometime later so today's video is just going to focus on consumption of contents from an existing pdf so let's get started so this is the sample pdf file that i have which is like a table of content just four pages nothing else and we are going to read this pdf file and see how it works basically so i'll remove the entire existing data just in case we can start from beginning let me also zoom in a little so that it becomes easier for you to see so I'll just change the view mode and enter presentation mode so our intention is basically to create a method or function called parse pdf which will accept this file name which is basically the entire file path and we have this path in this project itself so that's why we have we don't have to specify the complete absolute path we have just given the sample pdf from data folder so before we begin we just have to quickly install the library which i already have done but i'll just show you anyway so it's pip the python package manager install pypdf right so the comment is already satisfied because i have already installed this so no need to do anything else here I'll just clear the screen and close this window come back to the main editor now let's from pi pdf 
we're going to import the pdf reader what was it pdf okay pdf reader is now imported let's create a function called pass pdf by the way we can simply create this function from here and this is kind of a nice option that pycharm has in case if you're using a different id like vs code or anything else i think those will have similar stuff there i'm using pycharm here for my projects and this is the community edition so it's freely available you can download it from the site i'll give a link to download this in the description let's change the name to something as file name now what we need to do is we have to read the content of this file that's it let's store the pdf reader object in a variable okay so we'll call it as reader object now this reader object has basically everything that we need so for example if i just print the number of pages that our pdf file has so it's a formatted string number of pages um, and this is reader dot pages and basically we are just checking the length of this so length of this is going to return us the number of pages in this pdf file let's quickly run the script and see if it is working fine Okay, so that's the name of the script main.py. I'm just running this and I can see, okay, number of pages is four. That's exactly the number of pages that we had in this PDF file, right? Great. Now going to the next step, which is basically to read the content of a particular page, right? Now you probably have to add a loop just to loop through all the pages. But for the example purpose, we can simply read the data so for example page number four or yeah four contains that's the last page and then we just add a new line and then we print the contents of that page which is reader object then pages and then we pass the index of that page right which is a zero index value so for number page number four it is going to be three zero one two three right so then we'll just say extract text of this page and that's pretty much it okay we come back to the terminal and run this code once again and voila as you can see it has printed all the contents of the page four which if i open the pdf once again you can see mm -hmm, here contents denial of service etc for most of the things it is going to work fine this is just the, the way the pdf file is created right and in a lot of use cases you are going to probably extract that text text and then with the extracted data you are going to add certain regular expressions or certain other processing on the text just to get more details from that okay so that was a quick nice introduction i hope how to read existing pdf data using python and the pypdf library i hope it was useful in case if you have any suggestion in case if you want to see how to create a pdf just comment in the box below thanks for your patience and support i will catch you in another video